if you don't keep your eye on the ball as an executive and you're not developing the culture, then what happens is it just drifts away from you and it turns into something that you have little control over. Brilliant. What were the things that you identified that like, I don't want to do one, two, three, or I don't want to have this and that in my company? Well, if I think of it in my experience, when I, when I look back at my last company, if you don't keep your eye on the ball as an executive and you're not developing the culture, then what happens is it just drifts away from you and it turns into something that you have little control over. So the last company I worked at, I love the people. I, I'm, I'm still great you know, friends with the, the past CEO. The company's no longer in business, but I have a great relationship with all those folks, the other managing partners. And even when I left, I had a great relationship. And I, and I told each and every one of them I wouldn't compete with them because I didn't believe it was right. I would, I would start on my, on my own laurels and, and build a company from there. But what happens is, is if you don't give guidance and leadership and you don't lead the way to having a positive, proactive culture, then it, if you assume it's just going to happen, it won't because there are, there, are, there are different outside influences that build this culture into something that you may or may not like. And then once it's built, and especially when you're in a competitive environment, if you let it go or you don't have any you know, hands on the reins, it ends up turning into something that you may not like. And that's basically what happened to the, the company I was at. And as a result, I, I, I left because, not because I wasn't successful, I was the number one rep in the country. I left because I, I wanted to build a, a more positive, healthier environment and culture.